Okay, real quick, for those of you looking at the title and clicking on the video like, Oh my god, you insensitive piece of shit. What is this title? What is this video? One, get that shit out of here, man. It's not that serious, okay? It's a title and it's a video. It, it's we're, it, we're not the TikTok people from a few months ago who are licking toilet seats. Right, I'm not even going outside for this. I'm sitting down in my chair, and we play with the fucking zombies. But anyways, this here is the coronavirus challenge. It's really just a joke type video with a small little challenge. It's essentially the hatchery challenge on Dorod Krug with just a few little tweaks and, you know, other things make it a little bit harder and tougher on you. So essentially, we have the first 10 rounds to get set up with a few, you know, guns, perks, obviously getting the graph modules and the shield. And from that point, we can only leave the hatchery every five rounds. And while leaving on those five rounds, we can only purchase essentials, you know, the box, perks, and picking up the shield because it's pretty essential in Black Ops 3, let's be honest. So before we go into the hatchery, we can spin the box five times, buy four, per buy two perks, this being the first one, build our shield, and obviously, you know, just get the graph module so we can get to pack a punch in the hatchery. Now, that part in the middle there, you know, limiting yourself how many times you can hit the box and how many perks you can buy, you know, you don't have to, I suppose. I'm just doing it because it makes it a little bit harder and a bit more fun, in my opinion. But the last part of this challenge is essentially every time you get back to the hatchery, you know, as everyone does during this whole pandemic, you should be washing your hands, right? Right? You know, just keeping yourself nice and sanitary, wash your hands every time you come back home from going outside. And here on Dorod, every time we come back to the hatchery, we have to essentially wash our hands by repack punching our guns. So the first time we go into the hatchery, we're gonna have to pack punch at least one gun. And you know, if you can't pack a punch both guns, then you can simply only use one of those guns. For example, say we have the PP and the FAMAS on round 20 and we're coming back to the hatchery and we only have 25,000 points after leaving, then I'm gonna have to repack one of those two weapons and I can only use that weapon until I can repack the other guns. All right, there's power. Now we just gotta get our last shield piece over here and do the graph modules and then essentially just get set up as fast as we can. So we're doing pretty well right now. We're keeping really good pace actually. So far, I think this is my best run out of the three other times I've done this prior. The first time was just a test just to see, you know, what I could add and, you know, take away from the challenge just to make it a little bit more fun. The second time, I, you know, played right up until I was about to go into the hatchery then realized that I had only been recording my webcam. And then the last third time, I just kind of, I, I wasn't paying attention and I died twice and... Whoa, wait, what we got at the fourth time, baby? Okay, see, that's how I died last time. How can these guys... Hit the Groff module and me at the same time. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and spin my first box hit here just because I need a gun. And we got my boy the fucking Gorgon, lads. Let's do this. See, this is what I think makes it a bit more fun is if I only decide to hit the... If I limit myself to the five box hits, I could go from the Gorgon to the SBG to the Shadow Claws to the Pharaoh to the Elkar 9. I mean, like, come on. Tell me that wouldn't be pretty hilarious. It just gives it that much more of a challenge rather than sitting there and spinning the box until you get the Mark 3s and the PPSH on round 10. Let's see it, dudes. My boy Gorgon putting in the work. All we need is a last Groff module, and then I'm going to go start getting set. Actually, I might just go spin the box again and try to get rid of this Gorgon. Man, or I... I'll take that. I won't complain. I won't complain. All right, round seven. We got all the th network circuits. So what I will do here is I don't know if I'm actually going to buy Jug. I might buy Speed Cola. I know, doesn't sound like the biggest brain play in the world, but I probably will not be getting rid of this Man of War, and I only have three box hits left. And this Man of War does not reload the quickest. I actually might go with Jug just because it's slightly cheaper. I still need that 5,000 points to be able to pack a punch when I actually get into the dragons, into the hatchery. All right, let's get Jug, and then we're going to try and hit the box for another at least, you know, serviceable weapon for five rounds. All right, so this here is our third box hit now. And we got the BRM. Okay, well, you know, we can't do much better than a BRM in Man of War. Like, that's the one thing I think about Black Ops 3 that I like the least is literally any and every gun, except the Pharaoh, pretty much. But even the Pharaoh can be good and serviceable. You can use that weapon. Like, some people should be like, dude, oh, you should be able to take any weapon in any boss fight or anything like that. But it's like, dude, realistically, no. All right, I should be able to hit the box and get stuck with ass. So now we're going into the hatchery. I'm going to have to pack a bunch at least one of these weapons. And then we cannot leave again until round 13. So round 13, we'll be able to get two more of our perks, most likely being speed, cola, and double tap. I might actually hold off on double tap just because, like, I mean, Black Ops 3 guns are strong enough to last, you know, a while. I'm going to go ahead and pack a bunch of the Man of War here. Just because the BRM, I mean, eh, well, I don't know which one, but it the Man of War probably gets me more points here. I mean, they're both going to be one taps to the head. So essentially, we're in it now. We're sitting here until round 13. We're leaving for our stuff, and we're in the challenge, boys. It's kind of sad for me to say that, though. That I haven't really, like, consistently or played Go Run all that much recently. I've been playing, like, literally other maps. I mean, this right here is arguably the greatest map in Zombies history. I'm not, I'm not saying it is. 
Because to me, it's not. I'll say it arguably. Some people might argue that this is the greatest. It's got all of it's got everything it needs. It's arguably the greatest. But when this map first came out, it is literally all I played. Me and my friends would run it back on this map every single day. I want to unpack the BRM real quick, actually, just so it's usable. But when we would play this every single day, running it back. Ooh, we got a flavor dice. Why not, dude? Let's gamble it. This is a stimulus check right here. What's it giving us? Why not? Get us an extra round there. And unquenchable. I will take that, actually. Um. No, I won't. Not... That doesn't help me, actually. But I would run it back on Go Rod like every single day when this map had first come out. Me and my friends were doing the Easter eggs, the time trials, high rounding, literally everything. To the point where after playing it for like two weeks straight, you know, like, you know, not a whole lot of people get tired of zombie maps that quickly. But for some reason, I just did of this map. I, you know, I learned how to do everything. I could do it with ease. I didn't need to look at tutorials to basically complete the entire map and everything it had to offer. But it kind of became like Mob of the Dead to me in a sense. Mob of the Dead was kind of the same. One of my friends, I mean, we were 12. That's probably why it was so hard. But we, we, he tried, he made me get on that map every single day. We run it back over and over and over again, trying to do that map's Easter egg. Now, no, it's, it's really not that hard. But when you have four 12 year olds yelling at each other and one of them doesn't know how to do the spork step and isn't looking at tutorials and just being told how to do it by other 12 year olds who, you know, barely did it themselves. It doesn't fare out very well, and that map, man, like, I love Mob of the Dead. It's one of the greats, but god. Like, even to this day, I just can't get on Mob of the Dead like, yeah, I'm gonna have a good time playing this map. Okay. I don't know why I was just free-firing out of a window, lad. That was... Whoa, fuck. Okay, um... Genuinely might be in trouble here. Owie. Don't do that, please. Oh, that insta-kill is big right there, dude. Oh my god. Both guns are about to run out of ammo. This is kind of why I was saying maybe speed call wouldn't be horrible to bring in here. Just because you don't have a whole lot of room to run around and time to reload. Okay, at least it's round 13 and we're allowed to leave. But I will... Okay, so I can't really get rid of these guns. I'm gonna have to keep them. Which I kind of don't want to. So, like, the BRM's good, but it just takes so long to reload to the point where I kind of don't want to keep it in here. I might I might risk it until round 18 and just run run speed coil and jug. That might be better. I mean, if I die, I'll end up dying completely. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna end up getting back in there with 3,000 points, and I'll be able to upgrade at least one of my weapons still. There's Speed Cola. This mi this might be a really bad idea on my part, but I'm gonna roll with it, alright? I'm making the decision, and I'm gonna roll I'm, I'm rolling by its side. I'm gonna hit the box once here, and then we'll head back to the hatchery. I kinda wanna pick up that Drake, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I can get back in there. Okay. I'll be able to get back and then repack the Man of War and be able to use it, get points, and then I can I can pack a bunch the the Draken. I'm solely taking the Draken just because I think it's gonna do a lot better than the BRM. Back in, we pack the Man of War and it will be A-OK. -okay. See, that's one of the big things though that gets you is if you end up dying in here like on like your second round in the hatchery, you're kinda screwed because you're stuck without any perks for five rounds or you know however many rounds you have left to go. Alright, so we got fireworks, which isn't gonna be horrible for us, but it's not ideal for points wise anyways. Alright, I think speed call is kinda paying off here. It's allowing us to get those reloads in fairly quickly. That's the main reason I ditched the BRM. Sure I had speed call this time, but I feel like it's just not gonna be able to reload fast enough to be able to use consistently in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the gobble gum. That, that did give me ammo. Ah, shite. Okay. Oh. This is another problem. Is if you only have time to pack one gun and it runs out of ammo... You're kind of screwed. Oh, crap. And now, uh, that's not, it's giving me ammo, too. I can't, I'm 10 points off being able to pack a bunch of Draken, dude. This is not good. 
I mean, we got all chemical, so I'll at least be able to, you know, get my ammo back fairly quickly, but yikes. Just gonna drop a whole bunch of nades down out there. Are the all chemicals already gonna run out here in a second, dude? And we don't, we don't even have a... We, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we're just gonna have to use the other one. I forgot I give you two activations. We should be fine. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit the gobble gum and see if we can get like an in plane sight or something, dude. That was stressful. I don't know why I took that. I don't know why I took that. I don't know why I risked my life for that gobble gum that I can't even use next time I leave this place. Okay. This sucks actually because I'm gonna go out there to. I'm gonna have to buy quick revive and just hope that it doesn't end up giving me something. I, yeah, because if I go buy like double tap or something, I'm screwed if it gives me like. What's it called? Like a uh, dead shot or something. Actually, I just hope I don't get something stupid like Mule Cake, dude, because that's just going to be zero help to me in here. Having a third gun that I need to repack every single time I come back to the hatchery. Alright, there's our round. So we're going to go out, we're going to get Quick Revive, and then pretty much we're just going to come right back. I, I mean, well, I mean, I guess we could hit the box once or twice. And that down there really just was unlucky. I was thinking already that th with this being our, what, third or yeah no our second time coming out that i would already have the four perks and then you know be able to go get everything and i, I just ran straight away from quick revive oh shite 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 okay dude fireworks coming in big right there and we got double tap dude oh thank you so much thank you oh my god or wait hold on i'm thinking real quick wait we're gonna pause we're gonna pause we're gonna take a second we're gonna zoom in on the camera the rule was you can you can only buy 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 two perks around all right buy I did not buy double tap there. So would I essentially be able to buy buy a second perk and get the other one free? That got me thinking here. That got me big thinking. I'm gonna take I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'm gonna get some water, I'm gonna think about it. Alright, I've thought about it. I'm thinking we buy the perks. I'm thinking we can buy another perk and we'll be A-OK. -okay. I don't think that's breaking the rules because technically I can buy two perks and I only bought one and I got the other one for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go find the Wonder Fizz and I'm going to hit and I'm hoping for Electric Cherry. I kind of do just have to take whatever it gives me because I want to hit the box once, see if I can get monkeys. I'm actually going to go on ahead and do that now. I'm going to see what I can get it from the box here. I'm holding on to the Draken, but the mana where we might trade away for other weapons. Not taking a Locust Light. I'm going to have to pass. Okay. 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 Lad. I love the shield on this map. Just, I just got to just thank you. Thank you so much, Go Rod Shield. I salute you. I appreciate you, man. Please give me Electric Cherry. <laughs> I'm just going to say, hey, I just got the two worst possible perks I could have gotten. Okay, so I have enough to at least to repack both of these guns. I'm thinking I might just buy like a wall weapon or something just so I can fall back on it. I might buy the VMP. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm not too sure. I might buy a VMP, pack it, and then yeah, I'm going to do that solely for points actually. That's a, that's 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 my move here. I'm solely going to use this for points right now. I'll be able to get back, pack the VMP, and then I can go on ahead and then get points with it and then repack my other two guns and we'll be A-OK. -okay. We'll be perfectly fine. All right, there we go. Alright, boom. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, my boy VMP, not doing the actual best. Not doing as good as I thought he would be. However, he is getting me a hell of points right now. Okay, so I'm going to use this second in plain sight here to go back down and then I think repack the Man of War. I think that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, please, please, faster. All right, we're good. I'm thinking I might go on the lower levels. I'm thinking that might actually work out a little bit better. I'm not too sure. It might work a little bit better though than just sitting up here camping with the Man of War. Because I mean, honestly, like, let's think about it. You really can't camp with weapons for a ridiculously long time. Especially in this small of an area. I don't know, this actually might not go well. This actually might be really, really bad. Because I'm pretty sure they come from my left and right down. That shit's out of ammo, dude. I I didn't even realize. I'm going back. I'm going back up, dude. I don't like it down here. Nah. Are there traps here? 
What does that do? Oh, there's a back Samo. Oh, the Flinger Drill. I didn't know those were there. I honestly didn't. Okay, lad. Okay, dude. I'm gonna have to ask you to slow it down there, bud. I'm really just gonna have to ask you to slow it down. Please. Just give me it. Okay, we're just, yeah, we're just gonna end up sitting here. I think it's gonna be the best option. It's not our favorite option, but I think it's the best. I should have looked at strats for surviving in the hatchery before making this video, dude. All right, there we go. We're on to 23. We can head back out. I'm I'm gonna get rid of this VMP though, dude. It just runs out of ammo way too fast. Like I can't even get through a full round with it. Like I don't know. I, I expected a little bit more from it in damage wise, anyways. But I mean, it really just doesn't last very long at all. I'm actually also heading out here with. I can't get other perks. I don't think I spun the gobble gums enough to be able to get it. Not to mention, not the best round to be out here on solely because it's gonna end fairly quick. I think I'm just gonna let him break my shield and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and get something good going out here from the box. Oh perfect, we finally got monkeys. Alright, cool. I think I'm gonna limit it to three boxes though, rather than the five. I don't know. Alright, well there's a teddy bear. That's sick. Yeah, but I'll take a brekkie, I think. No. Well, there goes my Draken. Um not my plan there. No, not at all. Okay, and that... Okay, PP, I can't... Owie. Just give me my boy PP, okay? Please? I am sad. I am a sad man. My last box hit, I get the PPSH, and I can't even grab it. I might cry. I think I might cry. We lost the Draken. We still are stuck with the VMP. And we lost a PPSH! Think I'm gonna cry, lads. Actually, hold on. Where, where are you? You need to break my shield. I need a new one before I go back in there, lad. Come on. There you go. Alright, the Brecky might not be horrible in the hatchery. I mean, it is close quarters. We got a shotgun. It's what it's meant for. I mean, the Haymaker would have been much better, but, you know, I mean, we'll take it. It's not gonna be horrible. We should be okay. All right, at least with the VMP though, it does actually give us points, so we're gonna be able to be we're gonna be able to wash all of our guns this time. Wait, the the Valkyrie shocked at me from somewhere here, but it what? Where is it? Hi. Oh, there it is. Hi. Thank you. Well, Deadwire, you did not help me as I thought you did. He only shocked like two zombies. That's that's quite unlucky. I'm not going to lie. And just like that, that's where we get to the point where now I got to sit here and survive five rounds with no perks in the hatchery. Okay, I do have monkeys though. Please. Nope. No time. Darn. They just broke my shield. 24 rounds on three downs. Not horrible. I would say, not horrible for a first legitimate run. Whew. That's actually a pretty fun challenge. I like that. I like that. It could use with a little bit of tuning with when it comes to, you know, getting perks and guns and stuff like that. Just to, I don't know, make it a little bit more fun in my opinion. Because, I mean, I got that Man of War. Because, I mean, I got the Man of War and Drake on my first few box hits. And I kept the majority of the game. I find it more fun when I was sitting there, you know, just spraying down with the VMP or if I, you know, like I accidentally traded the Drake in there. I wasn't too upset because like, you know what, it's going to be more of a challenge to use the Brecky in there, which I mean I didn't get to. But definitely a fun challenge. You can go back to the beginning of the video and listen to all the rules I explained for it. If you want to try it out yourselves, let me know down in the comments what other challenges on zombies you guys would want me to see. I've really just been playing a lot of zombies in, uh, what's it called, Valorant recently. So you guys can probably expect a little bit more zombies content from me here in the future. Um, I'll probably be, be doing more challenges or Easter eggs maybe or whatever. I've been streaming it a little bit as well here. I might make a few Valorant videos. I don't know. I'm not like insane or anything at the game. I don't really like games that play that way when it comes to like, okay, sure... You know, you have your reticle there, but it, it, there's like spray patterns. Like, it's just not my type of game. I just like the, the precision accuracy type games. 
But I'll probably stream it in the future. I'll probably make videos on it. Let me know what other challenges you guys want to see from me. But anyways, yep. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, have fun. If you guys want to try this challenge out for yourself, you can go back to the beginning of the video for all the rules for it. But anyways, yep. Yeah, I'll go on ahead and see you guys in the next video stream or whatever else it is that I end up seeing you guys. So, peace. Spin that shit.